Uh, but it was cool to show these the, the Cali homies how Texas rolls. Mm -hmm. They got to, you know, eat at a few uh, food trucks. Shout out to uh, El Remedio in San Antonio. The birria was off the chain. And um, they got to see how we're able to move freely. You on, you could walk on a sidewalk. You could be at a park. You know what I mean? You yeah. could be outside. You can go to an event. Be around other people. Live your life. Yeah, live a life and be a human. And, you know, because over there, Racheton's mom has, like, I think, Salvadorian uh, restaurant. She had to shut down completely because she wasn't allowed to even do takeout. Mm. And it's like, man, y'all are really trying to crush small businesses. And, and it's like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of science or data y'all going by because they did the same thing in New York City. And I think if you look at the chart, out of the top five sources for COVID, uh, restaurants were number five, and it was like a 1%. It was like a 1%. I don't know how they come up with that, how mm -hmm. they're able to source where you caught it, yeah, or who got exposed or how, but you're going to change the landscape. You're going to change the face of all these cities. What about all these little venues and nightclubs and stuff? Like, It's going to become some Live Nation type shit. They're going to come in and be like, oh, I see you can't pay your rent here, uh, you know music hall or, yeah. or comedy club whatever and they're gonna swallow that up so they fucking over you know the the backbone of america the, yeah. the small businesses especially in california where a lot of that money comes from small businesses well you know we talked about the uh, sister city shanghai right. right so i don't know fang fang 